Well, Vermont and Canada are famous for producing maple syrup, but Stockton University is hoping to add South Jersey to the list. South Jersey reporter Brandon Golder explains how researchers are hoping to find a sweet spot. For Ryan Hagerty, he's not just tapping a South Jersey red maple tree. It's been a crazy start to the season. We've had so much sap. He's tapping into the power of community. You're spending a lot of hours in the forest and around the fire, and it's a great time to share stories with friends and family and just uh, bond over the experience of turning sap to syrup. It's an experience made famous in cold places like Vermont. Because South Jersey is a warmer climate, it's not known for making maple syrup. But Stockton University researchers received federal grants to see if they could successfully produce the product. Using modern technology like reverse osmosis and vacuum assist pumps, they found the sweet spot. Joy, actually, a lot of joy. When we first started, we began with buckets and taps. We're now in production in a, in a real way here in South Jersey. Judith Vogel leads the team, and she says they want to expand their community beyond the university to distribute South Jersey-made maple syrup to local restaurants, schools, and farmers markets. This is just a grant and a project all about building community. It's about bringing people together. By tapping into the sweetness of maple syrup locally made. Brandon Goldner, CBS News, Philadelphia.